What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Tokyo Revengers season 2 episode 2. Um so um forgot what happened last time was um Takemichi goes back to the past again to try and like avert all of this shit that happened. So like I was confused last time, but there were two different two different timelines. There's a timeline where he was in the car with Hina and his friend, I forgot the guy's name with the red hair, the hairstylist, hit her. Then there's a different timeline where he wasn't with Hina, right? And his friend, this is the one where he was like, oh, my, my wife's pregnant with her second child. Like, I haven't been home in days. Like, I need to go check on her blood or she, haven't seen her. I don't know, something like that. I don't know if she was, like, kidnapped or he hasn't, like, something like that. I don't know. Anyway. Um, and then he ended up killing Hina. Like, he sent him to go kill her, and he, he didn't know he was sending him to go kill her. He just knew, you know, he, he was told to go, um, he was told to tell, I forgot his name, Akun, Akun, to kill her. So, to kill the target, sorry. Then he found out it was Hina, and he was beating himself up, blah, blah, blah. Um, what else? Oh, um, oh, I forgot his name. Did I write it down? I don't know where it is. Wait, did I write this shit down? Yeah, Chifuyu, uh, died. He was working with the police with Kazutora to try and, like, take down Tomon. Mikey is evil. Draken's on death row. What else is going on? He's trying to, anyway, trying to prevent that timeline. So he went back to the past. It's the bowling alley with Hina. And one of the people from Black Dragon, I think it is, uh, is there bowling. And so I think the goal here is to, like, befriend all of the motherfuckers who are going to be a part of Black Dragon um, slash Tomon in the future. And, like, I don't know. I honestly feel like he's just better off staying in the past. Because every time you try to go back to the future like you miss so much time and like you don't know what's happening and then you're trying to play catch up and you're gonna you're gonna be acting weird to everyone around you you're just not gonna make any fucking sense like it's just i feel like it's better off to stay in the past just stay there because every time you go back it's a fucking problem every single fucking time so anyway um yeah but, uh, you never know. It seems like every time he tries to go back and change things, everything just ends up worse. So you, you never know. This could end up being a... But it's like, so many people are dead in this timeline already. It's like, you know how you say, well, how could it possibly get worse? But it, but it always can, so you should never say that. But, um, I mean, in this timeline, though, like, what, what what's there left to live for? I mean, fuck. It's just terrible. No, I would just go back. Fuck it. I mean... What's really honestly, what is the worst that could happen? You lose more people? Well, I already lost this much, so fuck it, right? <laughs> That's a bad mentality to have. Um, you could always lose more. So, maybe appreciate what you do have? I don't know. But I would be so mad at myself. Like, dude, I fucked things up royally. Like, I went to the, I went back to try to make things better, but I just got more people killed. So I gotta go back and do a better job or something. <sighs> I don't know. But yeah, he did. Hina's death is a fixed point for some reason. Like, she needs to die for some reason. It's not a coincidence. It's clearly intentional. I don't know why she needs to be killed, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that the reason she keeps um, being murdered is because they want him to, like, go back. Like, they want him to stay in the past. Maybe that's the point. Because every time he goes back to the future and, like, she's dead, he, that's his first instinct. Like, I want to go back. I gotta redo it. So... Maybe whoever is pulling the strings here seems like wants him to stay in the past. I don't know. Anyway, all right, let's jump in. Oof. Yeah, that was weird. Hey, 
調になっていい気になってな2番隊副隊長芝初会だおえ2番隊って傲慢の Really? You know what? He's right. I think I do remember seeing someone with blue hair in the first season. So why'd you turn on them? In the future, yeah. <laughs> Is he jealous? Hina! <laughs> What, now you're gonna compete against him in bowling? Is that what's gonna happen? Oh. <laughs> He's cheeky. Watch these two end up besties, oh my gosh. Strong. Yeah, I was eighteen pounds, yeah. <laughs> Don't even are you serious? That was so weak. <sighs> He's gonna okay. Ding 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 one hundred yeah. compete in everything dude just stop he just seems like he's really good at sports yeah, well i don't know it's not all about okay stop right now there, oh, i shouldn't say it because he's a minor but there was something a little s-e-x-y about that that little behind the back thing that was cool <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was cute. I'm sorry, I just love watching the way he reacts. Hmm? Oh, they're siblings? お前は本当ダメな。上に立つとか考えただけで面倒くせえじゃん。ダンジガラメだけよ。俺は自由が好きなんだよ。へえ。なんかこいつ。かっこいいね。しばく。いいな。いや、how do you go from not wanting anything to do with leadership to being a future leader? Yeah. Maybe not now, but people change, bro. Something happens that changes him. Really? Mm. <laughs> what did you take that? <laughs> oh. I forgot what happened to Mitsuya. Did they say he was missing? Or he was killed? Missing. He's inviting him over. Oh. Mm. Oh. 
keep walking. Please, just keep walking. Black dragon. What? You have a brother in that game? Is that how he gets tied up in it? Oh. You recognize him? Oh, X, Black Dragon number. You know your brother's part of them too. He's just walking. Oh. oh, look at him. He's trying to protect Hina. Ugh. He's about to punch him right in the face. Yep, I knew it. Ooh, bro, I felt that shit. Oh. his name oh wait that wasn't his brother that guy right there oh, I'm not paying enough attention I guess Oh shit. You're a little too loyal, I think, bro. Relax. Oh, there he is. He's giving me bomb vibes with that red and blue. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. He's humming. Oh, he's creepy. No, 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 no. I love their character designs, by the way, in the show. Oh, he's just straight up fucking evil. I don't know who was inspired by who, but this is, like, almost exactly what Pond looks like. It's insane. I guess strength runs in the family. Perfectly in line, yeah. Perfectly still. I know that's what he said, but like, look at how like, they're standing to attention. Like, my goodness. ここ。空を面白い状態。ここ。そんなバカな。うん。うんうんうん。うんうん。こいつ。殴り殺せ。
And what if he doesn't? He looks scared of his brother. Ooh. What is it? One of those situations where it's like, either you kill him, or I do. Is it one of those? Or I kill you? Sorry. That's what I meant to say, but either or. Either you kill him, or I kill you. Oh. <sighs> I don't even know, guys. <sighs> I don't know what he's gonna do in that situation. Hawkeye doesn't seem like a bad dude. I should write his name down. But like, his brother, he's in Black Dragon. Probably still in Black Dragon in the future, I would assume, if he's not dead. Um, But like, Hawkeye seems like such a good dude right now, so why, what happens to make him want to be a part of Black Dragon? Is it his brother? Does he feel like he has no other choice and he just kind of accepts it? Because right now, like, I don't know how you've managed to avoid becoming a part of it thus far. I mean, this guy is scary as hell. I wouldn't want to tell him no. Are you serious? Fuck that. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't even know what to say about this episode. Hawkeye is close to Mitsuya. Really looks up to him like a real older brother. Showed him what being cool really is. Because his real brother is not a good example of what cool is. Or what a good person is. You know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking of when he's saying cool. When he's just like, when you look up to somebody. Like, for... For the right reasons, you know what I mean? <sighs> and so, I guess you can really, you can look up to somebody for what do I, whatever your reasons are. Even if you're psychotic, I mean, your reasons are your reasons. But in this show, it, the vibe I'm getting is like, you know, what a good person is. That's what he uh, identifies as like, or defines as cool. Um, I don't know, man, like. I don't know how you get out of this situation. I don't know. I wish Hina would have run away by now. Like, just please go. You're no help in this situation. He just wants to keep you safe. Like, he really can't do anything in this situation either. So, oh my god. Uh, I mean, they were just walking. Uh, they were just walking down the street. <laughs> like, what if you live in that area? You can't really avoid walking down certain streets. So this is our turf like okay cool but like i live here though so what am i supposed to i mean i'm not saying they live there but what if they did now what do you do uh what else happened this episode i feel bad for both of those siblings like what a shit situation to be in like i would hate it if i had family like that now, like, he said he never comes home, so, like, maybe they've been lucky thus far where they've kind of just been able to avoid him and stay away from it, but now that he's back, I guess maybe there really is no avoiding it. I don't know. <sighs> Alright, anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up. I gotta start editing all these videos for Patreon and YouTube. Um, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that's in the description below, so please check that out and sign up to support the channel. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I will catch you in the next reaction.